What's up, guys? Mr. Free Quinter coming back to you again. Hope you guys have been doing well and taking care of yourselves. So, I wanted to go over a couple things today um, and <laughs> give you guys a, a, a little glimpse into uh, the way my mind works. So, this is going to be entertaining at the very least. So, uh, let's just go ahead and get into it. I don't want to make it make this video too long, but to start off, looks like Bitcoin set a new all-time high. I think uh, here it hit about right at 73,000, uh, which is actually really interesting simply because a lot of people, a lot of us, period, I mean, we're not expecting Bitcoin to do a whole lot this time. So um, now today, after kind of thinking about a few things that, that kind of ties uh today to what's happened previously, I'm starting to think we could see some extremely unusual movements. And what I mean by unusual is, you know, some pretty high uh, prices. So we'll get into that in just a second. But again, we set a new all time high today. Let's go ahead and go to the market. All right, so kind of a green day, uh, at least right now. Things are looking good. I mean, we're we're in the midst of a, a bull run somewhat early, uh, relatively early. Still haven't seen most things uh, pop off. Uh, we've had some, some good pumps, but as far as uh, just major all-time highs, uh, I'm not seeing that. Some things, you know, coming out of the gates are, are going you know, giving a lot of people some huge gains. But as far as the, say, the top 20, you know, top 100, um, not in the way, uh, not seeing anything in the way of all-time highs other than Bitcoin. But I think we're going to be able to see that here pretty soon. Now, XRP, we did get up to, I think it was 74 cents, uh, but we've since come back down. Cardano is uh, kind of cooled off. It has kind of cooled off a little bit. Um, what else? Ethereum has cooled off a little bit, but again, we're we're back kind of in green territory um, in the you know within the last few hours, uh, 24 hours or so. Polygon, um, you know, a lot of these different coins that I know many people have in their portfolios. Uh, I mean, everything's cooled off a little bit, but again, I think it it has a lot to do with the fact that. A lot of attention has been going towards Bitcoin, other dynamics that are happening that, you know, that's happening in markets and whatnot. But uh, I think we're going to see some more rallying coming here pretty soon. Now, something that I have found interesting that I, I didn't really think about a whole lot until today. Well, actually, I never I didn't have this train of thought until today. What is the one thing? that happened in 2017 that is happening this year in 2024. Well, to end the suspense, it was the solar eclipse. So in 2017, we had the first of two solar eclipses that would that were um, that that are tied in that they are making the path the paths of these two different events are creating an, a huge X across the United States. And again, obviously, the first one was in August. As you can see here, you see here, August 21st of 2017. And the one that is coming will be, uh, I think it's, it's in April of 2024 and let's see what day is it supposed to be it's supposed to be april 8th of 2024 the unusual thing about this particular eclipse event is that it is entirely crossing across the united states the first one went from west to east now this one is going from south to north right so from southeast well mm, uh, yeah, so what would what would be called Southwest, which Texas is Southwest, up to the northeast, far northeast through Maine. Okay, 
And uh, this is, again, to me, interesting because the last, not the, the last bull run was in 2017, but the last major bull run was in 2017. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't take me wrong. I'm not saying this necessarily has anything to do with, you know, any bull runs or the uh, intensity. But I find it very interesting that here we are in 2014 and things are really kind of lining up very differently from the way things happened in 2021. More akin, I mean, from what I'm seeing, more akin to uh, 2017, which the thing about 2017, it was unique in that the intensity of that bull run, because so many different coins actually uh, went into new all-time highs, you know, just this huge, uh, you know, blow off tops and all this stuff. And it looks like we could very well have the same thing this year. Now, I could be wrong, of course, but again, I found it interesting that the, the, the one similar event is a solar eclipse. <laughs> so I just, again, I found that interesting and I thought I'd just mention it. Uh, and I hope you guys find it interesting too. These types of things uh, I'd like to look into and uh, kind of, you know, just dig into. I, I've looked at this. Actually, uh, we're playing, me and my wife are planning on going and checking it out uh, simply because we, we are in the area. It goes right over Dallas, Texas. So we'll be out taking a look at it, um, getting video. I might even, if I, if I get some good stuff, I'll, uh, I'll definitely post it you know, in, in one of my videos, so you guys can check it out as well. But again, I found it interesting. Um, other than that, not a whole lot of uh, important stuff. Just one thing that I did want to go over, and that is the fact that CBDCs are on their way. Whether good or bad, there's nothing that's going to stop it. It, it. You know, it may take a little bit longer than, um, than we uh, may expect, However, they're coming. CBDCs are coming. As you can see here, Putin just signed in, uh, uh, signed it into law. Uh, I don't expect that it will be too much longer for the U.S. to follow suit. Uh, other countries, from what I understand, are uh, at the very least looking at it and considering uh, bringing them online as well. Uh, so, you know, again, it, it may take a little while for them to be... Uh, become mainstream but yeah they're coming and one thing that we know uh, or one coin we know will be most likely involved with this it's xrp so anyway guys that's all i have for you like i said not a whole lot going on uh, i was thinking about going live last night but i couldn't uh couldn't get to it i don't think i'll we i will tonight either simply because Again, not a whole lot, but I'm going to try to do it tomorrow night. So keep your, keep your eyes and ears open uh, for that notification. Outside of that, guys, I want to say again, thank you guys for so much for sticking with me. Um, just, you know, I, I, I don't know what to say <laughs> because um, it's, it's, uh, it's just amazing the support that you get as a content creator when you see, I mean, even a little bit of support, it's very inspiring because, you know, we're regular people just trying to do something, um, trying to share our, a little bit of ourselves and share with you guys. Uh, so it's, 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 it's extremely um, inspiring to see that people are actually looking for you. Um, so anyway, Again, take care of yourselves, guys. Until next time, this has been Mr. Free Coiner. Take care of yourselves, and God bless.